What's up, Hi Q homies? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Victoria Garrick, and today I will be teaching you how to do the Nishinoya Rolling Thunder. Now, this specific dig, save, receive, whatever you want to call it by Nishinoya from the Q series is legendary. I always saw people commenting Rolling Thunder and making these references. I never really understood what it was until I finished watching season one of Q and I saw it live myself. Um, for those of you who haven't seen the Rolling Thunder, let's roll the tape. dig is something that I can kind of break down to a side sprawl or a step and roll or a three step and roll and it's kind of an emergency tactic used in moments where obviously you can't just use your platform but you have to reach out for the ball so I'm really excited to kind of walk you through how to do that today before we jump into this video I want to give a huge thank you to Forza One Volleyball Club who has lent me these beautiful courts today they're an awesome club in Southern California so shout out to Forza and all the players there. Also, if you are not already subscribed to this YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a video. Give this a thumbs up if you love Q and you're excited and make sure you are commenting throughout the video as I love to read your feedback. Okay, without further ado, let's get into this tutorial of the Rolling Thunder. Okay, so when we look at the actual Rolling Thunder, sometimes we don't really get to see how Nishinoya is starting. Obviously, my guess is he's in a defensive position, but for the most part, what we do see is this nice long extension. We see that he has his fist or his palm. He's reaching out, he makes the save, and then actually we see this really cool back roll happen, which makes a lot of sense. That is how I would do it as well. So to break this down, we're gonna go in steps. First thing you wanna do is be low and in a base position. I'm gonna do this to the right because I'm right-handed, but you can definitely mimic this to the left side if you're left-handed and you wanna learn the move for both sides. So once you're in base position, the, the thing is you're gonna see a ball that's too far outside of your zone, so you can't reach it with just a step. You can't even reach it with a shuffle. It's something where it's coming so fast that you feel like you have to dive into the rolling thunder. So the first thing you, you are is low. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take a step towards where the ball is. And then this foot is what's going to push and propel you to eventually make that dig. But a lot of that stuff is difficult, so we're gonna break it down on the floor. Okay, so I'm kneeling just to give you guys an idea of how your upper body is gonna function. So Nishinoya goes for this ball with his fist. So the upper body is essentially, has the fist ready, is extending. And when you contact this ball, you just want to be making sure that you're getting under it enough to direct it to the court. I wanna add a disclaimer that I'm not a fan of fisting a ball. Like I, I've never done that. I mean, of course there's an emergency, emergency situation, but I think my go-to would be a three-step and roll. So I would dig with two and then I would roll, but we're recreating how Nishinoya does it and he does it with one hand. So you're reaching with this fist um, and you wanna get under that ball so that you can bring it up high to your teammates. And then from there, he's doing this thing where he's extending. So we're just focusing on the upper body. He's digging and then he's out. So he's out like this, I'm gonna back up. He's reaching and then eventually he's out like this. And then the roll is he's on his back and he gets up here. So I'm gonna do one more walk through. We're just thinking about the upper body here. So you can even start on the ground with me. You're gonna have your hand out, you're extending, you're pushing. This hand, I'm just using it for the demo because we're moving slow, but you're not gonna put your left hand on. You're gonna be reaching, sprawling out to the side, and then kind of doing a barrel roll on your back. 
and getting up here. So that is how we do the top half. I'm gonna do it a little bit faster for you. We're here and we're up, so that's a faster one. Let's do that one more time. You're here, remember we have our fist, reach, sprawl, barrel roll, and we're up. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the, how the feet work. Okay, so how your feet are gonna work is you're gonna be in a base position and you're gonna be balanced and then all you're going to do is see the direction of the ball, so whether it's to the left or to the right, today we're going to the right, you're gonna take a step, and you wanna take like a step that's getting you somewhere, but it's not wide enough that you're stuck. You want it to be within your weight so that you can push off of it. And you're gonna take this step, and the step is when you're making this extension move. So you're starting in base, you're low, you see that ball, you step, and then that's where we're doing our push. So when we put those things together, we get a rolling thunder move that looks like this. You're here, you see the ball, you make the play, and you're up. So let's do that one more time. I'm in defense, I see the ball is far, I make the dig, and I'm up. So pause the video, try that a few times at home, and when we put it all together, um, it looks like this with the ball. Okay, so if you guys saw that, that was like more of a slow motion. Um, rolling thunder and that's kind of good for practice but like I said it's an emergency move so it's much easier to do when it's a harder ball but maybe you can watch that Okay, you guys, so that was pretty good off of a toss. I'm actually gonna have my helper, Mel, here uh, hit a top spin. We're just gonna up the stakes and see how this move looks in kind of a more real scenario. And of course, I did not forget, the most important part of the Nishinoya Rolling Thunder is yelling Rolling Thunder as you make the dig. So for this last set of digs, I will be against my will, yelling, rolling thunder as I try to make these digs. Okay, when does he have time to yell and dig? Like, when does the dig? It's like it's slow mo's whenever, he's always like, rolling thunder. And if someone actually did, like the ball would be down, the ref would have blown the whistle, the point would have already been going. But you know what, we go with it. Okay, rolling thunder. <laughs> Not good. Rolling thunder. Okay, see, that's what I'm talking about. That's how I used to dig these balls, so I would go with two, and then I would dig out. So that might be honestly how I do it today. You can go with, I would, if I was coaching a team, I would always say go with two. Like, practicing to go with one is just, like, that's a last, I mean, maybe if you're practicing so you're comfortable with it, if it ever were to happen in the game, but I would say always go with two, and if it's really, really hard, then you're going with one, so we'll see how it goes. See, I'm so much better doing that. <laughs> Rolling thunder! Oh. <laughs> I can't dig with one. I think I need to get it on like this. Can't dig with one and Rolling thunder! Yeah, it's a lot. He's doing a lot here. Rolling thunder! Oh, that's it! Okay, well that is the whole tutorial on Nishinoya's Rolling Thunder. We started with the upper body and the extension, really mimicking that. We went and we saw how the legs are incorporated into the whole move. And then of course, we added the touch of the Rolling Thunder tagline to put it all together. And I think we got some pretty cool Rolling Thunder digs. If you guys are trying this at home, comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know if it was helpful for you. If you do the Rolling Thunder, I wanna see it. So take a video, tweet me at Victoria Garrick, um, and send me your video. I wanna see your Rolling Thunder. I'm actually really excited to look through those so I can see you recreate your Rolling Thunder at home. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can see and watch my videos every single Tuesday right here on my volleyball and reaction channel. And let me know if you have any remaining questions. I'm happy to go through the comments and help if you're still struggling to get it down. All right, well, thanks for watching this video. I am so grateful for you. If you have not already watched my reaction videos, go check
check those out and let me know what you hope to see on this channel. I love receiving your feedback. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter so we can stay connected throughout the week. Thanks again for watching and I will see you back here next Tuesday.